back to uh, Tiny Tim Cigar World and today I am reviewing the Camacho Connecticut Toro. Sort of hard to see that label but it's a uh, very very basic just white and a little Camacho C. Um, I'm, uh, I must admit I'm a little hesitant about reviewing this cigar. I love Camacho. I think they make great cigars. Uh, but the word Connecticut scares me, um, simply because Connecticut, in my mind, equates to mild, uh, sometimes too mild. There are notable exceptions that uh, companies that use um, Connecticut wrappers, and the cigars are not mild at all. Uh, real quick, when it comes to mind, uh, the 601 Black, which uses a Connecticut wrapper, is not a mild cigar. So, this very well could be a good cigar. I want to see. Uh, it does use uh, a, a Connecticut, Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper, uh, Honduras binder, and Honduras and Dominican filler. So it has uh, plenty of uh, power uh, components. The Honduran tobacco uh, is that really primary powerhouse component. So let's see, uh, the Camacho side itself uh, labels this as a mild to medium cigar. So uh, I don't really want to have a lot of preconceived ideas, but uh, uh, can't get past Connecticut wrapper right now, but let's try it and see. So right away, let's uh, get this one cut. Very little taken off the cap. Draw is perfect. Absolutely no trouble there. Another beautiful day here in South Carolina. It's about 75 degrees. Okay. So we've got it going. Let's give it a minute or two to settle in. It usually takes a cigar a couple minutes just to get to the point where you can tell what's going on with it. A little piece there. Okay, seems like there's going to be a little bit of, uh, there's a little cinnamon taste there, uh, a good decent amount of pepper and cinnamon, uh, there may be some citrus there, grapefruit citrus, but uh, I'm going to give it a, a minute or two to get going and come back and we'll see what, uh, see what the Camacho Connecticut Toro is all about. Okay, as you can see, I'm about three-fourths of an inch in, and the flavors are a sweet, grapefruit um, with an almond finish. Finish is not that long. I would not call it short. I would not call it long. It's there. It's uh, actually better described as fairly short. Um, the burn is very even. It's a very light cigar as you would imagine with the word Connecticut in there. Um, there is a nice amount of pepper. And there is some uh, vanilla undertones. So at this point, we're mild. Uh, not bad, but it's uh, burning well. And the flavors of uh, sweet grapefruit and vanilla with almond undertones with a relatively short finish. Here we are at the midpoint, and the cigar has changed. Um, it now has a, a very long finish. Uh, it is very sweet and has a citrus uh, and vanilla uh, flavor to it. The citrus could be described as something on the part of an orange, uh, orange citrus. Uh, the uh, the uh, draw is still about the same with the uh, grapefruit citrus. Uh, interesting how it goes from the draw being grapefruit to the finish being more of an orange. Um, 
but the pepper is still nice. It tends to linger on the palate too, on the finish. So that's that's always a good thing. And uh, as you can see, we're halfway, so we'll come back and uh, finish it up in the final third. Okay, in the final third, and uh, one thing to point out, this cigar has a perfect burn. I mean, it's been flawless throughout. Um, not much change in the flavor. Still the same uh, grapefruit, citrus, and vanilla. And same finish. Uh, the finish actually, uh, when it came in with the sweet uh, citrus, really started to make this cigar a good cigar. Um, overall, it is mild to medium. Uh, the pepper that lingers, even now, uh, is very nice. I am not a personal fan of mild cigars, although this is a flavorful cigar. So uh, for that reason, um, and it's just my opinion, this cigar, although flavorful, is a little too mild. I'm rating it at an 87. So the Camacho Connecticut Toro, which is uh, by far not the norm for Camacho, is an, it rates an 87. Undoubtedly, the Davidoff influence with the milder version uh, is coming to play, but uh, that's to be expected. And this is a good alternative for those who want to try Camacho that do, that do not want the overpowering uh, normal Camacho uh, smoke. Uh, a Camacho Corojo, which is three times this strength, if not more. But uh, this is a good cigar, and it will make a good morning cigar. So there you have it, the uh, Camacho Connecticut with an 87. Mm -hmm.